Hey guys, so welcome to this video where I wanted to show you how you can upscale your AI images, namely and most specifically for Google's Nano Banana. And this is one of the current downsides that uh, Google's Nano Banana is facing, which is that when it takes an image, it more or less adopts the same amount of pixels for that input image, which depending on your use case, if I don't know, you want to distribute it across social media, you want to use it for your store, whatever it is that you want to use the Nana Banana image for. Uh, having it distorted or having it with a lower quality is obviously a drawback and so the solution that I'm going to show you here uh, is going to fix it and it's going to fix it in a fairly rapid manner. And the way you can do that is A, by signing up for the following product here, genviral.io. I'm one of the founders uh, of the product. And once you signed up, you have to navigate into the left-hand section uh, where you will find the AI Studio. And from there, you have access to all kinds of different models. So you can use Nano Banana, obviously, and you have the other option, which is to uh, use the image upscaler directly. So if you don't actually want to use Nano Banana and just the image upscaler, then that's also a possibility. I'll show you the Nano Banana way and let's use uh, the following meme here. Sorry, uh, the preview is currently not working, but you probably know the meme as uh, you can see here. Very, very popular. And now what we're going to do is um, please uh, switch out the guy and the girl on the right. The guy now looks angrily at the girl in the blue shirt for looking at the girl in the red shirt. All right, so a few seconds. Now what we know is that, uh, hopefully no, is that Nano Banana, what it does is it takes the input image, i.e. the resolution of that input image and adopts the same resolution for the output image. So uh, effectively, this will also then be a landscape image. Now, as we can see, it didn't get the, <laughs> the prompt all to write, unfortunately. So that's sometimes what happens with Nano Banana. In any event, what we can see is that um, the image was at least changed. Let's use that as an example again, uh, whether or not it's the correct result doesn't matter for the purpose of this video. And what we can now do is we can do two things. So we can take this image here and we can upscale it with two credits. Now the credit cost will be defined by the resolution and the scaling factor. So this is the least amount of upscaling that we can do. And so in order for you guys to see the whole process. Let me just quickly refresh the page again. And now what we can do is we can select the AI image that we just created. So in this case, this one here, uh, the nano banana image. And now we select the image upscaler. And from there, we have a few options. So um, we can upscale the image by a factor of two, four, six, eight, and 10. Uh, the credit costs then that are determined and calculated are based on the upscaling factor as well as the size of the image because that in total determines how many pixels have to be upscaled uh, in total for the image in question. So the smaller your image is, um, obviously the lower the credit cost will be because uh, again, there's less pixels to upscale. And so as a result, let's see, let's do uh, a lower factor and let's select four. And now we click on generate. And also in the meantime, let me do another one with scaling factor two. Uh, what we can then see is the before and after. So normally also depending on the amount of um, pixels and the scaling factor that we determined, as we can see here, this is the scaling factor two. And it was done earlier because again, the lower the scaling factor, the less the fewer pixels have to be regenerated, the faster the pipeline goes. And now what we can see with the image that we created, um, it has been upscaled quite a bit. Now the gray part here won't be upscaled because again, it is or remains blurred for now. But what we can hopefully see, <laughs> at least hopefully in the video, uh, because the video also will be a little lower quality. But as you can see here hovering over, it is much, much better looking already. Now let's do and check the four scaling factor. And as we can see here, this part will remain blurry, uh, but this one is a little clearer now as well. Normally what I personally recommend is that 
scaling factor two for most use cases it will already be sufficient and as we can see the difference isn't always as prevalent so if i zoom in a little bit uh, let me increase the uh, zoom okay we can't actually zoom in properly but uh, as we can probably see by the hover here it does look a little better but uh, if again you're not zooming into the picture crazily uh, then I think the scaling factor of two will mostly be enough. And so that is already it. Um, this is how you can upscale images, uh, nano banana images. So again, you upload the image, you do your nano banana transformation here, and then you select the upscale image. Or if you already have an image that you uh, have, that you're ready <laughs> for upscaling, uh, to have upscaled, sorry, then you can also select the image upscaler model here. And so as I said, uh, the product here is GenViral.io. AI Studio is where you have to navigate and then select the image upscaler or Nano Banana and then image upscaler. And that is already it. So fairly easy and fairly straightforward. If, however, guys, you have any questions, then please do let me know uh, in the comment section. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.